So, what cycle sent me a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery? In the box, you got the battery, nylon strap, terminal screws, two different lengths, positive and negative cap, and the user manual. Now, this is the standard 12 volt. 100 amp hour battery, max discharge current 100 amps, and you can connect maximum four in parallel and four in series. In the user manual, you got your cable sizing, few guidelines, how you can connect to different scenarios, different voltages. Let's do a capacity test. Before we run any tests, let's charge it up to 100%. Then we can move on to the capacity tester. We're charging. All right, so we are fully charged. Now let's do a capacity test. Unhook the charger. Hooking up the tester. Let's reset and we are going to run a 10 amp test. Like that and just let it run and we will see how many amp hours we get out of this thing. Two hours and 21 minutes into the test. And we are at 23.69 amp hours. All right, so five hours and 48 minutes into the test, we are at 58 amp hours. Okay, so the test is complete, and we've got 103.59. Amp hours. That's a solid pass. The test took 10 hours and 19 minutes. All right, so we know it's true to its rated capacity. Now let's open it up, have a look inside. Our weapon of choice today is this handsaw. Take a look, you can see the seam. It's glued. We're gonna cut through it all around, open it up. First cut, second cut, third cut, one more, and we are through. Let's have a look. Right, so taking a look inside the battery, we can see there are four cells wired in series, two eight dot wires going to the negative terminal, and a six dot to the main positive. They are screwed and glued. Now the cells seems to be welded together. Got the temperature sensor here. Glued this thing. It's supposed to have both low temperature and high temperature protection, which we will test. See if I can get the whole battery pack out without destroying, without completely destroying the casing. All right, so I tried getting the cells, the entire pack out of the box, but it seems to be glued to the bottom and I really don't want to ruin the entire enclosure because I do have plans for this battery. I loosened the temperature sensor and we will do some tests to 
to see if the low temperature and high temperature protection is working as advertised. So we put the charge on the battery. It's charging at 15 watts. And let's try the high temperature protection first with a heat gun. See, and we cut off. That's working. Will it start again? And there we go. Again. Yeah. So high temp protection is a pass. And it's charging again. We've got some frozen salt water right here. See if we can trigger the low temperature protection. It's a hole, as you can see. Now we put the temperature sensor inside. And they cut off. That's great. Let's heat it up. Charging. Nice. Do it again. And there we go. So the temperature protection is working flawlessly. Our watch cycle does not produce the BMS in-house, they do have another company building the BMSs for them. And they seem to be beefy enough. And in my opinion, the overall build quality of this battery is really good. The cells are compressed and everything is firmly in place. The cells are obviously new since they the capacity test showed beyond its rated capacity. Sensors are working. So let's put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Reglued the lid and added a black gorilla tape around the edge, charging it back up, and it's ready to be used. So all in all, the watch cycle, 12 volt, 100 amp hour, lithium iron phosphate battery, is, in my opinion, a quality battery, well built, correct protections all around. I will leave an affiliate link to both US and European market. Until next time.